Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. And I'm in a good mood, <laughs> because a dinosaur with heavy, heavy modification has actually survived. We have our T-Rex, so let's release our big beastie. Cover your ears. bugger any. Right, <laughs> we need to, um, I'm curious actually, no he's not happy in there, I didn't think he would be. Uh, we need to trank this guy pretty quickly. I just hope that his new pen is going to be sufficient. I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough, I might actually, I'm going to have to take out some of those trees, I'm almost certain of it. Um, Contract is done and done. Nice work. That hopefully will be enough. Ooh, bit of slow down there. Its comfort rating is really low. We'll get a really narrow window, so uh, we're not careful. I keep calling him he. Yeah, I suppose it's him. Uh, it's, could be a he, could be a she. In the original, they were all female, but this is Jurassic World, so Acknowledging could be a bit of both. Request. You never know. Let's see. Will he be happy in here? Please be happy in here. A Stegosaurus is almost ready as well. I completed the genome, so I figured I'd go ahead and get a rating of over 80, and you can see we've got an 88. 70% chance of hatching, and it did it! Fantastic! So once again, we need to uh, immediately tranquilize that and move it outside into the open. And we just need the Spinosaurus. Uh, let's take on a new contract. Oh, just got a trophy. Is this even possible? We've got uh, a new for offer here that getting you a stego, I think. Definitely look over. I gotta turn that one down. We don't have any carnotaurs at the moment. We do have fossils. Let's take a quick look. We need to really work on um, Apatosaurus and Pentaceratops because we're going to need those for the science mission. So let's send our teams back out for those again. Pentaceratops. Uh, a Patasaurus. There we go. Let's transport this fella out to his buddies over here. Collecting asset. And I'm going to add in an extra feeder over here because I'm worried we're getting a little bit too asset many transported. on a single feeder. Also it gives us a bit of a an overspill in case one is Oh look at that. Yes. He's happy in here. Perfect. And it means that we can open the door for a bit of fight fun later as well. Um, we could even put something small in there like a Dilophosaurus to really boost the park's rating in there as well. Yeah, now we need to basically need to save up for Spinosaurus. Our money's going up pretty quickly. How much profit are we making at the moment? 485,900. So effectively 486,000 per minute. Oh, no, more than that. 518,730. Brilliant. Over half a million. That's, uh, that's what we need. Uh, I only have two contracts. Oh, yes, because the science one asked me for something I couldn't do. I'm about to get some fossils. Let's get the good stuff. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And decent fossils for a Patasaurus as well. Excellent stuff. 
So once again, send the teams out for the same locations. So happy that T-Rex is, is uh, comfortable in here. Only just made it in terms of the amount of grassland he needs to be happy. Taking out those extra couple of trees certainly helped, I think. He is my favourite still, the T-Rex. <laughs> always has been, always will be. Uh, right, so we, as I say, we just need Asset Spinosaurus. I could. Every single security system in our park relies on power. Without it, I'd hate I to imagine could sell what this guy happen. to raise so some extra cash. And results on that contract. But if he fails again, we're kind of screwed. There's some lag around that part of the park. Let's uh, top up these feeders. And we'll use our other ranger team the top of the feeders in here because they are getting a touch low. Not too worried about those ones. I'm wondering if maybe we develop this area. I don't know. Eh, I don't know which way to go next. That, hopefully, there will give us enough. Ah, I don't know, actually. 93 might not be enough. We'll send them out one last time just to be on the safe side. You never know. We might get Sauropelto instead. Uh, and what was the other one? Pentaceratops. There we go. $559,000 per minute. That's brilliant. Our money's up to 6.8 and going up again. Oh, got a little squabble going on. Oops. And again, it's the Spinosaurus that's panicking. How is he the one that's getting scared of raptors? That is so bizarre. I can't just, I can't believe that he's scared of raptors. Oh, T-Rex is waiting. Okay, right, so like I say we just need Spinosaurus and we need to get some extra cash. Uh, we could do with putting some uh, features in over here. How's our hotel overcrowding? Oh, wow, park overcrowding 88% already. We need another hotel. We need one over here. Desperately need another hotel. I didn't realise it was that, high, that heavy. I don't know if I can get one in here. I can't. It's going to be a little way before we can get one in over here as well. I'm going to really sort that terrain out. I don't really want to encroach on that area too much. All right, let's uh, let's start developing over here, I suppose. Start tearing up some trees. Start developing this area for more dinosaurs. We've got such a big island to play about with. How much space we've got. Insane. So what we'll do with our existing monorails, we'll run it through into this area here, 
uh, and then we'll have another monorail from here which will then go off uh, through this area that way I think that's going to be the best way to do it uh, let's I had no idea this island was going to be this big this new contract was made for a person of your talents yeah we'll take that one on because we're already at 10% looking after our guests welfare is Easy. almost as important as looking after the dinosaurs that was a joke or was it Oh, new unlock. We're making great strides in the science division on Isla Sauna, mostly because of your efforts. So you're receiving a reward. Look, with all the activity on Isla Sauna, it takes real skill to manage that location from a science standpoint. But with your high reputation, the island is clearly in capable hands. Oh wow, that's a very big change in elevation. <laughs> the T-Rex all the way over here. I realise this is actually costing me money to do this. This is money that we could be putting towards Spino. But it's still going up reasonably quickly. Yeah, we can afford this. It's got to be one in our uh, uh, incubation chamber. Alright, we need to kind of flatten this out a bit as well. Now we'll smooth all this out if we can. We need to run a path through here, so it needs to be relatively smooth, or else the path is going to be horrible to walk along, or drive along for that matter. It's going to stagger that kind of hill a little bit. There we go. Right. Oh, we have enough. Let's have fourth attempt at Spinosaurus. That's kind of bankrupted us again. Um, nope, not landscaping. Paths. Take that all the way along to there. So there's a chance to try and get something in that area. Even if it's only just a, a shelter or something. We'll curve this path through here. get the monorail stop in. Put the monorail stop on this side. Oh, maybe not. Let's put it on this side. There we go. And I'm going to tear up this pathway a little bit. so that I can get everything squared up again, so... Excellent, there we go. Right, so now we need to actually put the monorail track in. 
guests. I know the track's incomplete. I'm working on it. Outside the buildable area. go so monorail is in through the twiddly bit uh, Understood. always that station that keeps overloading And that has now caused a power shortage somewhere. Ah, yeah, around there. Ah, uh, okay. Or is it because that's being rebooted? Ah, it's just because it was being rebooted. Okay. So, we'll leave that one as it is now, which is the same configuration as what that one was, with three boosts. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. We might need to reconfigure this one slightly as well. Let's check out our fossils. Pentroceratops, a Patasaurus, Sauropelta. So, uh, again, keep working away on these uh, genomes over here. He's still hunky dory, happy, happy. How is Spinosaurus getting on? Please be... Please be good. He's failed again. Ah! Ah! That's maddening. That's absolutely infuriating. Trying to build a dinosaur that doesn't want to be built. Oh, I've got a storm coming again. Need to make sure we close the park down because we've got a very big, aggressive dinosaurs that will rampage through the park if they can get out. We could do with having a... Uh, shelter up here. Oh, I won't fit. Ladies and gentlemen, in response to the adverse weather, please take cover until the conditions have passed. It says it's obstructed. It's mm. frustrating. So we're looking for Sora Pelter just to finish this one off now. Uh, oh, we killed that dig site. Need another one for Pentaceratops. There we go. New viable genome for Sora Pelter. I 
can still hear the T-Rex just ever so faintly in the background. He is a noisy bugger. Right. That is enough space for us to start work on something over here. So, um, do I want to keep with what we're doing over here? For now, yes, I think I do. But I am going to want a creation lab of some kind over here. And I want to try something a little bit different over here. So I'm going to need to flatten more of this out. What I want to try and do is have, and I'm a kind of this inspired. I was inspired by this when we went to our second island. Um, we had those uh, those two pens right next to each other that were separated by that kind of corridor. I want to try doing that somewhere on this island. I want to have a single hatchery that feeds at least two separate pens, maybe even three. And we choose which one they go into by opening the doors in advance of releasing the dinosaurs. I want to try doing that over here. See how well it works. I want to experiment a little bit with this island. Because we have so much space. You know, we can try different things out and see what happens and how well it works. Let's uh, shred more of this foliage around here. So we'll basically we'll, we'll build a single area in the middle, which will be where our creation lab will be, and then we'll try and have three pens, um, like a small entranceway area, and then we'll have a pen to the left, a pen to the right, and a pen above. And then we can just kind of feed the dinosaurs through into the relevant pen just by having the doors opened. That's that's the theory. Kind of like um, when you're herding sheep through uh, through their enclosures, and you have all the different gates to to feed them whichever way you want them to go, to be sheared or to go off to a you know just a pen or a feeding area, something like that. That's kind of what I want to try with this, but on a you know a, a big big scale with dinosaurs <laughs> instead. So uh, see, I've got a, a few little marks in the ground that need to be flattened out. Hey, how'd you like to be even more busy? How's a new contract sound, huh? I'm going to turn that one down for now. We will come and do a Majungasaurus at some point in the future, but for now... Oh, I left the shelters open, didn't I? For now, I just want to work on this theory. There we go. Right, so that area has been cleared away. Let's get the park reopened. We need the money. So we can try yet again at Spinosaurus. I might have to just tame his rating down because he is incredibly, uh, incredibly overpowered as to what we actually need. His rating is like 400 and something. I just figure if we're going to do genetic modification, we may as well just go all in. Saurus is 100%. So what I'm thinking is a creation lab somewhere around here. Maybe. There needs to be a way for me to view this pen. If we're going to have a pen here. I'm going to need a pathway going around the edge.
So let's do that. Too much curve. Might need to upgrade this actually to a wider path. We'll stick to uh, narrow for now. It's like my boundary path. Okay, so now in here, I'm going to want my enclosures. I'm thinking we have some herbivores over here. Put a little shopping area in over here as well. If we get the opportunity. I'm starting to wonder if that's in the wrong position. Numbers never lie, and yours are exceptional. Yeah, I think we should probably uh, look at reworking this path. Alright, that's frustrating. I made a mess of that. All too close. Even the first bit's too close to the uh, base of the monorail. Let's just keep it simple. Not overthink it. Uh, I think we could possibly get a visitor shelter along the side there. Certainly get a shop or something in there. Okay, so, yeah, that's much cleaner, much neater and tidier. Uh, I'm up to 8.8. We're going to have another go at the Spinosaurus. Fingers crossed it will actually work. And I'm not going to be able to restock these. I just want to double check on the rest of them. Two orange. That one's orange. Gonna need to top that one up pretty soon. Responding to resupply request. Now, luckily, we make money really quickly, so we can actually uh, get these topped up pretty quickly. Attending to feeder supply. Task received.
yeah, we can afford for those to be empty because there's nothing in there, so there's no point wasting the money on topping them up when they're just going to rot and die off again. Uh, let's continue our building work over here. No, nope, that's gate. There we go. We may as well just electrify everything just to be on the safe side. <laughs> now we run out of money. Okay, so we've got a nice, good sized area just here. We're going to want to put in a gyrosphere and stop somewhere around here. I need to put my hotel in as well. hotel to try and hopefully get a view between the two enclosures. Uh, 750,000. We have to wait a little bit longer for the hotel. Up to 40%. It's a start. We need him to go a little bit further. Uh, can we smooth that out a bit? It looks a bit iffy. actually improve his grassland requirements. Better check I haven't damaged his... Uh... No, uh, grassland's still about the same. Okay, uh, but he is still happy. That's the important thing. 60%. Is this going to be the one? Is this going to be the one that actually works? I really hope so, because I've spent oh, 35 million trying to get this thing up and running so far and failed with every attempt. Uh, let's go find out disease outbreak. Something to keep my mind off the uh, off the countdown. Looks like it's a stegosaurus. 
Asset in range. Good shot. Good shot. Ooh. Contact <laughs> made with the wrong asset. Got a wonky and hit the wrong one there. No there we go, he's medicated. Ah, tuberculosis. Yeah. No longer in the park. All dealt with. Don't look at this as extra work. Look at it as extra money and experience. Yeah, we need to take on a new contract, don't we? Uh, we are still working on getting the science unlock. I've received an offer that will definitely help the science with a vision. rating of at least 54. Well. Yeah, we can do that. Ah, oh, 86%. 87%. Don't get too excited. <laughs> This is way above, you know, in terms of its rating, what we need. Oh, actually, no, this is a rating of 59. It's only just above what we need. It'll do. 92%. <laughs> Please work. This will equate to a, a, a $44 million investment to get this thing out and running. That's insane. To think that this one Spinosaurus, assuming that it actually survives, will have cost me $44 million and change. If it fails now, I'll cry. <laughs> Fantastic. Whew, that has uh, been horrendously expensive. Ooh, look at that funky color scheme. Guy's a monster. Okay, we're all about the bottom line now. Yeah, we just got a, a super predator trophy for that one. Whatever it takes. Uh, sometimes right, we need to get in trank. Takes is more than you should give. We'll do this one manually, I think. It's always something, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, you haven't heard? We've got a Category Five storm barreling down right on top of us, and it's never easy, right? So let's make sure we have our precautionary measures in place. Protect our animals, ourselves, and our guests. Got it? Storms spook the animals. As I'm sure you're aware, this place has a history of things going badly. Very badly, because of the weather. Stay on your toes. And be He's ready. down. Okay. Did he just say I've got a Category 5 storm coming? Science requires not only experimentation, but observation. And with you, I like what I see. Keep it up. Oh my God, that's an insanely powerful storm. Um, I'm going to trank all of my diners. Let's trank him so I can sell him. Uh, trank, no trank, trank. Adding task. Frank. A category five storm. <clears throat> that could not be good at all. He's down. <clears throat> Confirming task. Yeah, all of those guys tranked up. Gonna lock the park down now. Uh, I need more pentaceratops. Let's go for some of the newer stuff. Majungasaurus. Uh, we want to sell. Triceratops. A 
Acknowledged. That storm's getting closer. Dead dino. Ah, uh, he freaked out. And Spinosaurus killed it. Okay. This is why I had a backup, just in case. I need that Spinosaurus down. There he goes. Sell the Triceratops complete. Which is to say, I, I did have some doubt. But you've come through, so thanks. <gasps> Success 3.0. That's what we've been waiting for. I'm always looking for ways to improve security around here. And I think this new contract could help with that very thing. Consider it. Let's change these over. There we go. <clears throat> Do the same over here as well. Change that to a 3.0 success rate. Amber for Pentaceratops and a high quality as well. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> And a couple of decent fossils for Majungasaurus as well. Okay, so we've only got the two shelters. We really do kind of need an extra shelter. Uh, they're into guests, aren't they? That's hotel. Emergency shelter. Please be advised that our weather forecast predict an incoming storm. And let's get a storm defense in over here if I can somewhere. Fit. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, perfect. It just fits. Bad weather here comes the storm. Mad dinosaurs. And we're in for a boatload of it. Not much I can do to support these guys, but they're out in the open. Well, I say out in the open. They've got the trees to help them out and for a bit of cover. Uh, they're a long way from the park. I'm hoping that's going to keep the, uh, the fences and viewing platforms stable. Shelters are all open. So a few people running around out here. Need to put another shelter in up here somewhere. Something else is damaged. All the sparks go flying. I've never seen that before. I've only ever seen the after effects of the damage. I've never seen the sparks fly like that.
sound hard to control in this weather. It's a hell of a storm. No control on this thing at all, it's so sluggish. It's buffeting me all over the place. There we go. What a mess. Look, we're still assessing the damage, but in the meantime, we need to get our park back online and fully operational. Also, we need to work hard to get our entertainment reputation back to an acceptable standard. You'll never get this place back exactly as it was, and it doesn't matter. Soon none of this will matter. For you, anyway. Well, that was a bit uh, sinister from Mr. Henry Wu there. Picking up asset. Let's uh, wake these guys up again. En route to collect the asset. Head in to pick up the asset. Collecting asset. Asset to be collected. We want to have a bit of Spinosaurus on Spinosaurus combat, I think. Heading to collect the asset. It's just how vicious our new guy is. He's going to have a much more powerful attack and a, a good, a better defense rating as well. He should. If he dies, though, that'd just be insane. Although I think. Asset transportation in progress. Asset in fixed. transit. Commencing asset transit. Yeah. Everything's transit fixed. Has commenced. So let's get the park reopened. Because now the final part of this mission is to get the guest Delivery count back up. Been completed. And we need the park open asset to be able to do that. Delivery complete. All our dinos asset are now waking up. They're not stressed out because they went down before the storm. He's a little panicky. That's because of the helicopters, I think, possibly. And maybe because this guy's roaming around a little bit. And there we go. Island reward. We hit three stars. Drivable gyrosphere. That's going to be fun. We'll definitely be testing that out in our expansion down there. And it says we've got five plus buildings without power. It's our uh, new stuff down in the corner. That's what's without power. I'm not worried about that yet. I'm going to be building a separate power grid over there. Asset has been collected. And then we will link them together as well, just as a bit of a contingency plan, hopefully, in case something does go down, we've got the chance to siphon a bit of power over. But this is what I've been waiting for. This is the big Spinosaur versus Spinosaur combat. This is going to be brutal, watching these two fight. Two of them. I, n I never expected that. I thought it was a one and done only. I was expecting them to fight. They're not going to fight. They're going to just get on with each other. I suppose it makes sense. There were two in the movie, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got a big and a bad one. And we've completed the Jurassic World mission. We now have a new vivid colour scheme. Looks like we are well on the road to recovery. Couldn't have done it without you, man. So, uh, thanks. 
Wait a minute. What does Dr. Wu know about you that you've chosen to hide from me? I like a mystery. I do. Because a mystery is just chaos observed from the wrong perspective. Hmm, what is the mystery? Am I John Hammond in disguise? Who knows? <laughs> we will find out at some point in the future, no doubt. Uh, certainly in a future episode. Uh, and it won't be this one because we're out of time. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more Jurassic World Evolution very soon.